Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and on today's episode, we've got a very special extra episode on top of the normal reviews. We're going to be covering a, another cheaper by the dram, Dram. This is going to be one of these kind of special episodes that release on weekends in addition to the normal reviews so that we can cover some different services and whatnot and see what's really going on in the world. Because generally speaking, I'm covering kind of official bottlings and I'm covering uh, like sample sizes, I mean, and I'm covering full size bottles. So interesting to see what these guys have got. This one came through the other day and I'm very much looking forward to trying this. This is their reference number 17. You don't get much information on the front, which is something I like, especially if it's a surprise to you. But this is uh, says ABV 61% and it's three centiliters. But this is what you get inside the box. You get a nice little wee box like this. Nicely presented. This is a little card, but if you open this up here, as you can see, I already have because something of this age deserves to be aired out somewhat. Uh, you get a nice wee dram like this. And I'll pop this card out here as well before putting this back over here so you can see the box. There you go. So yeah, you get a wee dram like this uh, and to curb all your suspense, even if you haven't seen the title, we have in here a Glenuri, Glenuri, I don't know if you pronounce that properly, Glenuri Royal Distillery. Now this is a closed distillery. It closed something in like the 80s and was finally demolished in the 90s. So clearly they're not going to be making any whiskey there anymore. Uh, in the future they might revive that because this is a Diageo brand. So they might revive that like they're doing with some of their other brands. Who knows? Uh, this was distilled in 1971 and bottled in 1994, which makes it a 23 year old whiskey. That's absolutely astounding. As I said earlier, 61%. I think it's like 61.3 or something like that is the official ABV of that. But yeah, not to sniff at trying something like this because... When else am I going to get a chance to? A bottle for this goes for like a thousand pounds this day these days. In fact, uh, if you buy a dram of this off of cheaper by the dram, it's like forty three pounds for the dram. So it is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But let's see what we've got in the glass. I mean, just straight away, just look at that. I don't know. I don't know if they added colour back then, but that's just superb. Let's have a little sniff and see what we've got. What a nose. Now, I'm pretty sure this is just a single malt whiskey, just a single malt whiskey. I don't think it's a single cask whiskey. So I'm pretty sure this is made like we, we all know whiskey's made, you know, like uh, a mash of different barrels and casks together. I imagine. I don't know for sure. Let's uh, carry on with the nose. Really rich is this is. It's like very oak led, very leathery, very tannins, some dried fruits there. I'd be very surprised. If someone told me there was no sherry in this, I imagine there's quite a lot of it. But as you know, if you watch this channel for any length of time, not a huge fan of sherry, uh, especially when it's not done well. I get a lot of sulfury, a lot of gunpowder notes from it, and I don't get that at all on this. Just glorious fruits. And dare I say the Christmas cake vibe. Let's try on the palette. Oh, just utterly superb. As I said on the nose, it's super rich, nice and thick, nice and viscous. The 61% to my palate, although uh, I have to say I'm a huge fan of the higher ABVs these days, so I'm kind of desensitized to it a little bit, but it doesn't pack a punch like it sounds like it would at 61%. It's nicely well-rounded, it's well-balanced. The sherry notes kind of even out that. 61% vibe, really tasty. The finish is massive. Everything about it just reeks quality. And that's what I love about Cheaper by the Dram is they're providing this kind of wee service where a bottle like this, which you can get hold of still, uh, if you've got a thousand pound, if you want to spend that sort of money, then fill your boots. I wholeheartedly do not recommend it. But if you're desperate to try something like that, you can, for a fraction of the money, get a wee sample of it instead and be able to try it. Of course, this is a, a 43 pound dram we're talking about now. And, and as always, uh, I will completely clearly say on this channel that 
that's uh, a bottle's price and is not to be taken lightly. So if all that sounds like it's of interest to you, make sure you go and check out Cheaper by the Dram. They're providing an excellent service, being able to try these super premium, rare or old or discontinued or whatever whiskies at a relatively low price comparison to the entire bottles. And I think generally speaking, it's comparable to what you would pay for a, a 25 mil sample in a bar, probably significantly less.